Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do this little school desk. It's an old time desk that you can use for the little schoolhouse and when they go together, they go with the front here and the back here. The doll would sit here and then it would go to the next one and then that would be the back seat or you can do them separately. So together or separate. Alright, so when you get the kit, they'll come in a little bag and then You'll have two look like this, one top for the desk, one facing for the desk, which is going to be this part here. And then you'll have a little piece like this. This you can just make a slate with if you want. So the very first step I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some crazy glue. You can use wood glue. You don't have to use crazy glue. In fact, if this is your first time doing this, you probably should not use crazy glue because it's going to set up pretty quickly. I'm holding this flush so that it dries. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some glue right on here and right on there. And then we're going to go ahead and glue that in place. Wipe off the excess glue. Crazy glue will also dry white, so if it does, you'll have to take a marker or some paint over top of it if you do not intend on keeping it a painted color. Or, I'm sorry, natural. All right, the next step is you're gonna go ahead and take this piece here and you're gonna put a little bit of glue here. And then you're going to line this up with the top edge and the left edge. Once you've done that, then this piece here will go on top. You want to keep it even at the front and let it overhang just a tiny bit. Now we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue right here, right in there, just a little bit right across there. And there. Now I'm going to put this in first and work my way down within this little block there and Oh, also forgot to put glue on this, sorry. And right in there like that. Press that down. And then that's your little tiny school desk. And it works perfect for the little dolls. Now, I do have a larger one that I'll be putting on the site as well. So if you want larger desks, then, you know, that'll be an option for in the future. So like if you want to do bigger dolls. And I'll show you that. Okay, so here is the little bench. I mean the little seat with the little guy. His feet don't quite touch it unless you push them all the way down on the bottom. But I tried to make it to where it would be like a normal kid for 112. You know, sometimes their feet dangle a little bit. And then there you have that desk. 
and if you want to get more you can get the more the extra kit so I ordered these off of a UK website they're called Tumdy dolls and here is the little girl I really really like these dolls because their detail is like amazing in their faces and everything I will say they are a little pricey though but there you go you have two kids in class if you want to push their desk together you can This one I got a little bit of paint, I mean a little bit of glue on, so that's okay. Okay, so as far as making the school slate, you can keep it like this and you can just paint it black and stick it on top. Or if you want to split this because it's so small, you can get uh, an X-Acto blade and not do that. <laughs> and you can go right down in there keep your fingers away from the blade so you're not going to slice your finger be very careful keep your fingers completely out of the way and then you can have a thinner one like that and you can sand it paint it black personally if i'm going to paint anything black to look like a chalkboard i'm just going to use a black sharpie and you can use Sharpie brand or you can get the Dollar Tree brand. It doesn't really matter. And then there you go. He's got a nice little slate. You can use this as a template and you can cut it out of cardstock and then just paint the cardstock. A cereal box even would work for this if you use that as the template. And you can double up on the poster board or the cardstock, cereal box. You can make it thick, whatever you want. It does absorb it a little differently with the ink than the wood does. The wood actually takes it more of a stain. The poster board and stuff takes it a little bit more like just paper and then you can just put it on there so you decide what you want to do if you want to go ahead and have like a piece of say chalk or whatever you can take a piece of your toothpick you can cut it down and then paint it white and then you would have a toothpick or not toothpick I'm sorry chalk and you would just put it on there like that or you could do the little pencils that I made out of toothpicks as well those were pretty easy to do I just literally took a pencil um I said a pencil it's definitely late at night sorry about that a toothpick and then I sanded it down using sandpaper going back and forth and then I just paint it it yellow with a pink and silver part at the top for the eraser and then I left a little gap and then did the tip black so that's an option as well all right well thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial hopefully it was pretty easy for you to follow and if you want to get this kit check out my website under dollhousetutorials.com or check out my Etsy shop under Crafts by Laurie for you. And um, that's the number four in the letter U. Okay, so I'm also going to put these on my website so you can download some books.
and you can make some books as well. Now this will come with a bonus set of little blocks that look like this and you download those, you cut them out and you print them, paint the edges of these little blocks white paint three sides and then let it dry. Once it's dry you can take some Mod Podge and that's a little bit too much. And then you want to go ahead and dab the spine just a little bit. Take your cover that you just cut out and you're going to fold that spine right over on that book. Once you have it done like that, then you can take a little bit more and you can obviously use a paintbrush to put this on or a q-tip or something. My hands are already a mess so I'm not really worried about it. And then there you have Sally's little book. And it can go on her desk like that. You can repeat that process and print as many as you want from my website and also you can um, create these using cardboard as well. So if you run out of the little boxes or the little blocks, then just use that and you'll be good. Okay, so this is what it sort of looks like with my dolls set up in there. As you can see, there's plenty of room on the top for her, the teacher. And of course, I'll paint the walls and everything. So hopefully you like this tutorial and leave a like, subscribe. Um, if you have a question, suggestion, or comment, don't forget to leave that below as well. And please share. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.